My name is Andrew, and I'm a sales engineer here at M0. Today, I want to show you two new features, our Terraform provider and module registry. First, our module registry. It's a, simply, it's a private collection of modules for your organization. Why is it important? Well, you're probably already using modules from Git sources or within your Terraform uh, folders. But the main thing that the module registry provides is the support for versioning and versioning constraints. You can read more about it in the Terraform docs here. For example, we can use the rightmost syntax to specify upgrades and updates that won't break, but just fix those, uh, those build numbers. So just updating to the minor version. And I'll show you a demo of that real quickly. Here in our M0 organization, we go to our module registry, and here I already have two two modules that I've configured, template and project. I want to show you how to create a module. Simply just type in the module name. Say we're going to configure EKS. As we know, that's always pretty pesky on how to configure that. And this is the AWS provider, of course. So simply link it to our Git repo. I have access to my EKS cluster, and I can hit Create. Once it's created, M0 will automatically pull down the README and also the associated tags. Here we can see the version 0 0.43, and this is a fork of the Cloud Posse EKS cluster. Now we have a simple centralized way of managing all of our modules uh, for our organization's consumption. Next, I want to show you our Terraform provider and how we can take advantage of the module registry with our Terraform provider. Our Terraform provider gives you the ability to manage your M0 organization as configuration as code, essentially creating resources such as projects, templates, and environments. You can read the documentation here on in our registry provider within Terraform. So let me show you how I can use the module registry with the Terraform provider to create some M0 resources. Now I want to show you how you can create a template using our M0 Terraform provider. So let's go into our master project and create a new environment. This has already defined uh, some projects here that we can use. You can hit run now on this project. We defined this template earlier to read in a set of Terraform variables. Terraform variables under this file named teamaprojects.tfrs. Let's go ahead and hit run. And I'll show you what the those variables look like. Here, um, I've created three projects dev, stage, and prod. For each of them, I provide a description, a credential account, and a policy. So this is taking advantage of our Terraform module that will take advantage of mapping all of the projects, the policies along to the projects. And it's created those projects. Now, if we go back to the organization projects, you can see we created the dev, stage, and prod. Next, let's create the templates associated for each of these projects. If we check the templates, right now we only have these three templates. So let's go ahead and run our default templates for each project. Similarly, I'm going to set the variable. Once I've set it, I'll go ahead and hit run. Gone ahead and approved it. You can see that the template is adding a lot of matching all of the templates to the different projects. Now, if I go to templates, you'll see I've added three new templates network layer, DB layer, and frontend layer. And if I check the settings for each of these projects, you can see I've also assigned them. Last thing I want to show you is how to create a 
M0 environment using Terraform provider. Uh, because this is still in development, I will show you via the command line. Here I have in my environments.tf using a pre-build version of our Terraform provider. And it's going to create a environment inside our dev project. See, we're creating an environment with using the templates and the project. We go back to M0 and check out the dev project. Here's the environment being deployed right now. Please reach out if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.